So you're excited about having Peachix soon, but you haven't had much success keeping them alive in the past. Or maybe this is the first time you've ever had Peachix. In this video, we're going to cover topics that will mean life or death for your Peachix. The diet of baby peacocks, or Peachix as they are affectionately known, should maintain a careful balance of a medicated chick starter feed with a protein content of 18%. The first 16 weeks are the most critical stage of life. The babies are vulnerable because they are still developing. You will need to manage feeding very carefully during this time. The highest priority needs to be, number one, protection against the disease coccidiosis, and number two, supporting their growth and development. This aids in giving your baby peacocks a strong start in life. The medicated diet is specifically designed to guard your baby peacocks against dangerous diseases, including coccidiosis, a condition that can severely hinder a peachick's growth and survival while its immune system is still developing. Important tip. Do not give additional vitamins when using medicated feed, or it will render the medication useless. 18% protein is an important number. Peachicks cannot digest anything over 18%, and can experience organ failures among many other issues, and could also lead to death due to the excess protein. We have noted the specific brand we use in the description below. Important tip, never offer them any feed that carries the label of turkey. The protein content is too high and does not have the proper vitamins and mineral content. This leads to malnourishment, which can drastically reduce their lifespan, and could also lead to death. And although it may be tempting, never give your baby peacocks treats. But diet alone does not ensure the healthy growth of your peachicks. The mothering hen plays an important role. If your peachicks do not have a mothering hen, you need to take the following steps. Providing an optimal environment that consists of constant overhead heat is a necessity. Their living space should have a heated side and a cooler side. Fun fact, heat helps them with metabolizing the nutrients and medicine from their feed as well as keep them warm, but that's not all. It stimulates the development of their digestive and immune systems, much like the warmth provided by a mothering hen's body heat. Providing the overhead heat reduces stress and provides comfort to your peachicks. This also helps avoid chilling and respiratory infections. Simply providing a heat plate will not be sufficient for a baby peacock under 16 weeks old. They should not be removed from under the heat lamp or placed on the ground during this time. Doing so could lead to a fatal chill causing respiratory failure. Keeping your baby peacocks off the ground when they don't have a mothering hen is another crucial step in preventing parasite exposure and death. When your baby peacocks are over 16 weeks old, introducing them to other birds or a larger enclosure should be a gradual and cautious process. Remember, the care and nurturing of baby peacocks is a delicate process, but the result is nothing short of magical.